Kurt Apsey has been part of Boise State Athletics since 1998, but Apsey will move on after spending the last six years as the athletic director at BSU. You know, he's provided a great overall experience for our student athletes uh, during their time here, allowed them to be successful both in the classroom, uh, on the field of competition and in life, and I think those successes are going to be seen for years to come. Bob Carney, an Air Force veteran who got his bachelor's and master's degrees at Boise State, will take over as the interim AD. He has worked with APSI since 2005. Lots of compliments and kudos for Kurt. He's been a, been a good friend and a good mentor, and, and he's uh, definitely helped me prepare for uh, you know this role today. So I, I just want to say thank you to him. Carney steps in during a difficult time as Boise State Athletics faces a budget crisis. One he says will be helped by the football team taking the field this year. But Carney says his main focus right now will be on maintaining a safe environment during the pandemic. You know, our focus is on trying to be able to play a game on, on this Saturday. And as you all know, that's been a roller coaster of you know no season and now back to a season. So, um, you know, that, that's going to be the primary goal and focus right now. And, and that, that's the direction that we'll take. But Carney also has help from student athletes who told us they take COVID-19 precautions seriously to ensure they can play football this season. I mean, if you really want to be here, if you really care for the team, if you really view this season as an important season, you're going to do anything you can to not get the Rona. So. Looking to the future, Boise State University will conduct a nationwide search for a new athletic director. I think it's a very attractive job. I, I think there'll be some, some, some excellent candidates that will be interested in the position and I'd like to look forward to supporting Dr. Trump and the university through this process. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.